I got a good skinwalker story. Be me. Be 22. Be at grandpa's old farmhouse. Sitting on the porch dicking around on phone. Pretty peaceful night. Starts out, chickens chirping. Suddenly, that smell comes. Exactly as Slash K describes it. Like blood and metal. All goes silent. Where the fucking chickens go? Slightly creeped. Few long seconds pass. Hear the gravel road crunch under footsteps. Hello, who's there? Crunching stops. Starts again. Hello, who's there? This is private property. I'll have to ask you to leave. Still hear the crunching but can't see anything. Hisses. Rapid skittering through the front yard. Fat cat is running through yard. Dashes up to the porch and claws its way up a wooden support beam onto the roof. Grandpa adopted spray cats to keep rats away while he wasn't there. The window to the loft is always open so they can come and go as they please. Freaked out a little more now. Crunching is louder now and I can finally see a figure in the distance. Sir if you don't leave now I'm going to get my gun. Still approaches so I grab the shotgun I left by the door in case of coyotes. Aim at it, you have 5 seconds. This is when I get a good look at it. It was at least 7 feet tall. Had long ass arms and legs. Skinny as fuck too. Fuck it, pull trigger. Click. I forgot to load the gun. Realizing I have no ammo, the thing charges. It says hello. Who's there in my fucking voice? Frozen from fear. How? It's closing in fast. Not only is it crunching up the gravel road you can hear it getting kicked around. Can't think what do.it's at least 30 feet away. What do? 20. What do? So I do the do and throw my shotgun at it. Hits it square in the neckish area. The skinwalker falls backwards and hits the ground hard. The adrenaline is still pumping. I quickly grab the shotgun and place it on the porch. Drag the beast by the legs into the light. Don't know why I did but I regret it. It was horrifying to look at dot had a half human half wolf face and patches of old fur and skin all over it. Adrenaline dies out. I'm starting to get worried. Will it wake up and kill me? So I did the smart thing and drug it inside the cabin. There's a front room with an abandoned bed. No covers or sheets, just the mattress and metal springboard. I lay it face down on the bed. Still thinking smart. Take off belt and tie its left leg to the bed. It's starting to breath. Run into the hallway and grab some wire out of a closet. Tie the rest of its limbs down. Go grab some duct tape. Duct tape everything. Legs, feet, arms, sides, back of the head, you name it. Prisoner secured. Go and load shotgun. Stand over the restrained body with the gun pointed. I was like that for a solid minute. No movement. Not from me nor the skinwalker. It opens its eye. Keep in mind that it is face down on the bed. So only its left eye. It stared deep into me man. I swear it felt like something searching the darkest emphasis of my mind. A E A R R R G G H H H H H O O O O O I I I Y Y Y Y. Well that's what it sounded like. The scream is ear splitting I can't think. Re-aim and fire shotgun until empty. Still screaming and a black fluid is leaking out of its sides and all over the floor. I don't know what came over me but. I pulled down my pants, took off my underwear, got on top of the thrashing creature, and I put my fucking dick in it. It was pure ecstasy from then on. The thrashing stopped for a second. It lets out a scream of pain and starts shaking mildly. It screams with every thrust of my cock into its intestines. Soon the screams turn into grunts. And I continue to assert who's the dominant species. I'm about to come so I ramp it up. Grunts turn into moans. So I start doing 50 DTPM. 
I also start to spank its exposed armpit hard. And with passion, Mons intensifies. About to come, come. It lets out a loud and a root. My body and its butt lift up a few inches. I think it was a dude. Q post come relief. Q forced gump. I got a pee. Well, the man's got a pee. So I dismount my prize riding horse and walk outside to urinate. Go back in and fall asleep in the other room. The next morning it left me like it was just a one time thing that slut. Afterwards my grandpa never had problems with coyotes eating his chickens, but had a problem with dead ones in his fields. I have still have nightmares 